Welcome back to Classic and Sports Car Centre. This afternoon's video is about this very special Bentley. It is a Continental R, a 2000 Continental R Mulliner. And it's special in, for many reasons, but the most important of which it is absolutely immaculate and it has done only 17,150 miles from new. It was with its first owner for two years, its second for another four years, and then one of our long-term customers bought this car and he's kept it since 2006. He is a man who has a wonderful collection of cars, all of which would fall into the same category as this. They are essentially the best examples of their kind that money could buy. Now this tradition of making beautiful two-door stylish long-distance coupes in the modern era began with the Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow. The model was Rolls-Royce's first attempt at a monocoque saloon car. It was their most successful model to date when it was introduced in 1965. Within a year, their in-house coach builder, Mulliner Park Ward, had produced a two-door version. There was also a two-door version made by James Young, but that model didn't last. And a year later, again, they produced a convertible. Through the 60s, it was known as the Mulliner Park Ward in the early 70s as the Corniche, and the Bentley derivative of the Rolls-Royce was called the Bentley T-Series. Now, in the 80s, things really seemed to have changed a lot, and the, the Bentley became very much the, the sporting brand of the Rolls-Royce stable of motor cars. And I think my first uh, experience of a car of this sort of style was the Bentley Mulzan Turbo of 1984 much more uh, refined was the Turbo R which followed it and essentially what you have is really the ultimate derivative of that design by then a six and three quarter litre turbocharged car which was intended to be an absolutely competent and stylish long distance touring car. So this particular example is absolutely immaculate. There's really nothing to go around the bodywork and say, well, this needs doing and that needs doing. It is, as you'd expect, a, a wonderful example of a car that cost almost a quarter of a million pounds when it was new. So I'm going to take it out for a road test and let you experience the actual sound and the, and the, the feel, if you like, of this kind of car. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. So what's it really about, this Bentley experience? Well, as I mentioned, these cars were nearly a quarter of a million pounds new. In fact, they were 198,000 in the mid-1990s. So this was a very expensive and extremely exclusive car. And the best way I can describe it is, it is the ultimate in high-speed comfort. Nothing in intrudes into this quiet, ambience and this sense of the car having class. Acres of walnut, leather upholstery, fine carpets, wonderful wool rugs, everything about it exudes luxury. And this is the car that you can make a, a transcontinental trip in, you know, six or seven hundred miles a day in one of these vehicles and you still feel refreshed and ready for your dinner and glass of fine wine. There were many refinements of this engine and of this uh, uh, system of transmitting power to the rear wheels over the years, but it starts way back, almost 60 years ago. In fact, the very first vehicle I had with, the, with this type of engine was the Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud II a six and a quarter litre V8 in those days which was later enlarged to 6750 and by the mid 1980s it was being turbocharged. I think the very first one, the very first car to enjoy this propulsion system would be the Bentley Mulzan Turbo. I remember having one of those years ago and they suffered quite badly from turbo lag but by the time the Turbo R came along uh, in the, I think about 1986 or 87. It was a very, very smooth and refined uh, system of turbocharging the car. The difference, I think, with one of these later cars, apart from the exclusivity of this wonderful coupe style body shell, is that they're rather firmer on suspension than the original ones were. So 
instead of them sort of wafting along over bumps and you're having to be careful at high speed on corners, by the time this car was produced, you have a car which has absolutely superb road manners. So let's have a, a look around it and a look inside it. It is, after all, a very special and rare machine for us to have. It is in every respect immaculate. When you look down the side of the car in the reflection you can see no marks or ripples. The paint finish itself, given that it's 20 years old, is absolutely wonderful. All of the original leather work, woodwork, all in wonderful condition. And you can really tell when you start to look in the detail of this car that it has been, for much of its life, cosseted in a heated garage. You get to appreciate just how how quiet and relaxed one of these things is. In fact, the loudest thing in the car that I can hear is the creaking of my own body against the leather. But if you need power, I'm now going 20 miles an hour and I open the throttle up. That's 60. Quite incredible. What an amazing vehicle to drive. And the brakes are every bit as competent as the rest of the car. So there you have it, one of the most beautiful, stylish, comfortable, refined, luxury Grand Tourers ever made. The Bentley Continental R Mulliner. What a machine.